Hello everyone, this is Jose Lozano from rchobbiesonair.com. Thank you for watching my video and welcome to my channel. Okay, so on this video, I want to do a quick unboxing of the Sina S107 G model. This is my blue helicopter. Now the first thing I want to point out is that the Sina uh, helicopter comes in a gorgeous black box. The packaging, I think it's, you know, really nice and it makes me want to open it and have fun with it. Now when you open the box, you'll be able to pull a second layer of the packaging where you'll find all the contents. Now the first thing here is the helicopter, which you can see is really nice and made of strong metal. Then we have the transmitter. Also, inside you'll find the instructions manual and a small bag with a tail rotor blade spare part and the USB charging cable. Now I want to take the opportunity also here to familiarize ourselves with some of the main components of this RC helicopter. Why? Well, because this will serve as a reference for future videos. First, we have what is called the main rotor blades. Now, since this is a coaxial, since uh, this is a coaxial helicopter, uh, it has two sets of main rotor blades: the upper and the lower. Each one of these spin in opposite direction to each other. Now, you want to know that this configuration of the main rotor blades is what makes this helicopter and all coaxial halleys very stable. Also, the blades are made of flexible plastic. This helps you withstand more crashes since they are not that fragile and thus, you know, they're, they're more uh, durable and robust. Now, also, as part of the stability components, we have the fly bar, which is something I will discuss in more detail in a future video. Then we have the cockpit, which is uh, the front part of the helicopter. This is the landing gear, which of course is for the landings. Uh, and it's also made of, um, of metal, strong metal. And this is the body of the helicopter, which in this case is made of strong metal as well. And it also protects all the electronics and gears of uh, the device. Then we have the shaft that connects the body of the helicopter with the tail rotor blade. Now you want to know something. Not all helicopters have a tail rotor blade, but this one has one and it spins in a vertical axis relative to the floor, okay? Now, depending on the axis, uh, you know, of the tail rotor blade, it serves for one thing or another. We'll see more about this later, but for now, this one has one that, that spins in a vertical axis relative to the floor. Next, we have the transmitter, which I'll describe in more detail in a future video, but for now, you want to know that this is a very simple transmitter that will serve you well in your way to learn and master RC helicopters. Okay, so this was the unboxing and general overview of the Sima S107G helicopter. I hope you had fun with it, I surely did. And please comment below and send me your questions so that I know more about you, okay? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel for more updates and surprises, I promise that. And I also invite you to visit my site at www.rchobbiesonair.com where you'll be able to find a bunch of information about these fantastic gadgets and you'll get to find the best RC helicopter for you guys, okay? Now, once you're in there, please join to the conversation and share the content with your friends and family as well using your social channels. That's everything I have for you right now. And remember, everyone can fly, let me show you why.